Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, let's unbox and take a look at the Fast Reno R68S router. This router is powered by the Rockchip RK336A. It is based on Cortex A35 with 4 cores and the clock can go up to 2.0 GHz. It comes with 2GB and 4GB DDR4 versions with built-in 16GB of eMMC storage. The R68S and the power adapter are well protected by the form. The power adapter is small at the normal phone charger, but it can supply 12V and 1.5M output. Let's open the plastic bag and take a closer look at the router. The R60AS mainboard is protected inside the plastic case. There is space on top of the case for air ventilation purpose. On this side, we have two USB 3.0 ports. The one in the middle is USB 3.0 OGG. We can use it for firmware update or recovery or debris purposes. On this side, there are two gigabit Ethernet ports and two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports. Next to it is the power socket where your power adapter is connected. The R64S also has 16GB of eMMC storage and were pre-installed with OpenWRT. Let's connect the Ethernet cable to the 2.5 port and power on the R60AS. There are two LEDs, one indicates power and the other one indicates activity. The link speed is now 2.5 gigabit and we can see that the orange LED already light up. On the PC, we can see the same. The network interface is up and running with 2.5 gigabit link speed. The router is having the IP address of 192.168.100.1. Let's check it out. It took me some time to find the password. And finally, the password is password. By default, the language is Chinese, but no worry, we will change it later. If you have been using OpenWRT for some time, you will know this is system, and then system again, and then go to the last tab, which is language and style, and change the first setting to auto. After that, hit save and save and apply. Now we should be good to go with English. This is OpenWRT R22.6.11. This should be the lean version. In the CPU frequency, we can see that it can reach up to 2 GHz. A lot of applications have been pre-installed, such as ShadowSoft, OpenClass, and Zero Tire. I also talked to a team member of R64S regarding this. According to him, in China, most of the people use OpenWRT to bypass the RAID firewall with applications such as ShadowShock. That's why there are a lot of applications pre-installed. Now, let's set up the one connection and have a quick check. From here, I can see that Ethernet 0, Ethernet 2, and Ethernet 3 is attached to the LAN bridge. And I assume that the one port, Ethernet 1, is the top left on the router. Let's connect the cable. Great, there are traffic passing by. Let's go and configure PPoE on VLAN 35. Now, the PPoE connection is up and running and we have internet connection. Let's run a quick speed test. That's not bad at all. This is a normal speed. Here, we can also see the bandwidth monitor application. And net data were also pre-installed. Let's establish the added edge connection and see what is there. Okay, 
This is Lidi, not open to the RT. It is running Linux kernel 4.19.245. Let's take a quick look at HTOP and let's see if the repo is config. Okay, the repo is working, but it is from Emotor WRT. This is the OpenWRT variation for men in China. Alright, so we're going to end the video here and we will have more details in the next video. Thanks for watching and see ya.